all right what's going on guys you know there has been a big ordeal in the competitive fishing community obviously it was not bass fishing but everybody has seen it by now there was some walleye fishermen that got caught cheating what they were doing was putting 12 ounce lead egg weight sinkers in the fish's mouth and from what i gather they were wrapping it in actual fish fillets to make the fish swallow it i'm not 100 percent that's not 100 percent confirmed that that's why they did it but seems like they were wrapping it in actual flesh of other fish and then making that walleye actually swallow it so those fish would swallow that bait and that they would feel the texture and want to swallow it but i'm not sure if that's what happened exactly but that's what i have been told now this is obviously very bad for the fish community in general it gives everything kind of a black eye as far as competitive fishing goes it adds a lot of skepticism to the entire sport as a whole it's bad for non-endemic sponsors they don't be involved in stuff like that obviously those guys had sponsors you know they had sponsors all over their jerseys those companies are you know now looking extremely bad so it's bad for the fish community entirely like it's just all it's just all terrible and i feel terrible for the other people who earned the wins in some of those tournaments they took a lot of money from the people that should have been winning the whole time they took a lot of notoriety and you know like people a lot of times fishing you can make some money at it there's some there's some pros for sure but a lot of people are doing it because they love the sport they want to compete you know the money's kind of a a side note to all of it. you know even even for me and i do it that's that's my full-time job the money is really a side thing altogether it doesn't matter i love to fish no matter what the case is so it's really bad for those people that put the work in and should have got kind of the notoriety and won some tournaments but those guys kind of stole it from them so that's terrible for those other people and it's also crazy because we'll never know how much money was lost from other people like because we'll never know when else they did yeah it's not only that like prize money like you said you never know exactly how many times they cheated whatever they're gonna be able to prove i don't know i know the guys were arrested their boat was seized the people are you know in jail right now they got like or at least that's what i have been told recently i'm not super i haven't been following it super closely but i know they were you know arrested their boat was seized they are definitely going to face some legal action but not only that the prize money that they stole from the other anglers they also cost those guys sponsorship money if they are getting sponsors at all you know more wins more aoi trophies you know more notoriety that gives you more sponsors so not only the tournament money that they stole from the other guys they also cost them a lot of sponsorship money by not being not having as many wins they should have got that they actually earned so that's absolutely terrible but i want to talk today a little bit about professional bass fishing and how much cheating someone can actually do at bass fishing so in my opinion there's a certain level where cheating is almost not possible to do anymore and it has to be the biggest team tournaments in the country that has to kind of be where it stops at and the reason for that is like i'm on the bass master elite series we have a marshal i i have to run gopros on my boat all day long that shows my entire boat so can i take fish out of a basket no could i call and say hey my gopro's not working today you know if i somehow didn't have a marshal or something happened i may could get away with it for a day but to do it long term it's just not really feasible at the level that i fish at because we have a marshal that has a sign off on our catch we have gopro footage if you start doing good in a tournament on day one you're going to have a camera on day two then obviously you definitely can't do it because it's got a live camera that's showing everything all day long so cheating like that in professional bass tournaments is not really going to be something that you can do now the biggest team trails where you and your partner are both in on it that's probably about where it stops and then from there there's it's very common to get polygraph tests you know i fish team tournaments around the house and stuff and i've, I've had to take a quite a few polygraph tests so i don't know how accurate those are or how people really value those but if you fail the polygraph obviously you're not going to win them win the tournament so that's kind of the the checks and balances of the big team tournaments is a polygraph test so if they figure out a way to get around the polygraph test i really think that the big team tournaments is kind of where the cheating like that has to look kind of that's like the ceiling for it now in professional bass fishing the only way that you could possibly cheat would be to get info illegally so we're not allowed to watch basses in basses like content that they post throughout a tournament so like if bass is posting on instagram i'm not allowed to watch that video that they posted and figure out where other guys are fishing because you know if somebody's leading the tournament they might have a clip of them fishing on the on the 
on the water and I could watch it if I was trying to and then kind of figure out a little bit of what they're doing and where they're at. But we're not allowed to do that. That's against the rules on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Now, obviously it's against the rules to put a 12 ounce egg sinker in a fish's mouth also. So some people don't want to obey the rules and I get that. But the only way that you could cheat at the level of professional bass fishing would definitely be to gain info that is against the rules. And we have polygraph tests at all of our tournaments to check if anybody has broken any rules. And also if somebody gets protested, they'll actually go back and polygraph them and ask them a different line of question for the rule that they think that they might have broke or that somebody else claims that they have broke. So I know it gives the sport a really bad look and it looks really bad for competitive fishing completely. Like I would, I would bet you're gonna see less big non-endemic sponsors get into the sport this year than, you know, probably they normally would because it makes it the entire sport of fishing compared to fishing looks so bad but rest assured though you cannot do this type of stuff at the Bassmaster Elite Series and on the MLF BPT or even the Pro Circuit all that type of stuff this is not going to be something that could ever even happen I know on the FLW tour a long time ago a guy had some kind of I've heard this story a bunch of times he somehow put out a barrel or a basket or something underneath the docks that had fish trapped in it I've heard that he had a scuba diver down there that was hooking him on. I've heard a lot of different stories of this guy cheating. And he definitely had something underneath docks or on trees or something tied up. And he was flipping a jig into where he had those fish actually kind of barreled up or whatever. And that's how he was cheating in those tournaments. But he got banned and disqualified and all that type of stuff. So the walleye cheaters definitely cheated in their tournament. But you cannot do that in professional bass fishing. So I just wanted to kind of let people know kind of the rules that we have to face so that's not possible so bass does a really good job of making sure stuff like that cannot happen and it makes the sport look terrible but you can't do it in the top level of bass fishing so rest assured on that i just want to take a second and kind of clear the air on that because i've been seeing a lot of stuff online about people saying you know they lost a tournament they should have put egg sinkers in the fish's mouth and stuff like that it's, i know it's just a joke but that stuff wouldn't fly in in the biggest bass fishing tournament so just want to kind of lay that out there do you think there are any rules in bass right now that should be stricter? So rules rules are very hard to police whenever you're fishing, you know, like a top level tournament or something like that because there's so many people that you're, you're kind of trying to police that it's very difficult to say like this rule should be stricter because then you have to go back and polygraph everybody. So if somebody wanted to break a rule, you know they're going to break the rule no matter how strict it is and the people that are not going to break the rules that are going to obey all the rules they're going to follow the rules to a t so if you make a rule stricter what you're doing is you're kind of punishing the guy who's the most honest and not going to break the rules and then the guy who is trying to break the rules is going to break them no matter what happens so the more strict the rules is the more you're kind of punishing the honest guy and somebody that wants to break the rule gets an even bigger advantage but i'd like the no info rule i wish there was i mean we have a very strict no info rule on the Bassmaster Elites, and I really like that. I think that's good for the sport. But if somebody wanted to do it, they could definitely get illegal info. Now, I'm not saying anybody does. I really don't know. But that's the only way that you could cheat in bass fishing. Anything else, Miss Hunter? I don't think so. All right. That's my take on if that's possible in bass fishing. It's definitely not. But appreciate you guys watching. We'll see y'all.